Hey everybody, it's Root Beer. Ian Banlist dropped, so let's react to it so we're not a week late to the content like we always are. Our Banlist got a few extra hits to the V format in addition to all of the hits in Premium, so let's go over them. First off, Percival has been completely banned in V format. While I think Golds hasn't been doing a whole lot since V Collection dropped, it still sees a couple of scattered tops here and there, so I think this hit is good even if it is a bit late. I think we all expected Percival to be really broken alongside Holy Shine Dragon, which didn't really happen, but Percival is one of those cards that's just fundamentally broken by design, so I think it's good that it's being hit just on principle. Next, KFC is being banned. It seems like we're just putting it in line with JP on that one. Next up, Ellie and Charon are being unrestricted, so... Prisms aren't doing anything right now, lifting the choice restrict on Vert and Ellie seems fine. It's interesting that they're releasing Charon so quickly after just banning him on the previous list, though. Seems a bit too soon, but maybe they feel like Luard will be okay post-V collection. Next up, they banned Silversinger Coutier. Good, I hate this card. This card is just annoying for time reasons. I think I gave an anecdote before where I was watching a Highlander deck play during BRO. I saw them resolve Coutier, so I went to make a sandwich, came back, and they were still on the same turn. Highlander and Highlander variants haven't really been doing anything so far post-V collection, so like Percival, I feel like this card is a bit of a delayed response to the previous meta, but I don't care, this card's annoying, get rid of it. And the premium list is largely the same as what we got in JP, so Odysseus and Mystery Flare are banned, and they also added Dragon Knight Nizari, probably just on principle to be in line with the JP ban list. That's it for all of the things that they did hit. Now we have to go and talk about all of the things that they did not hit, because while I think this list is good for addressing the previous meta, obviously a bunch of new problems have cropped up since then. First up, Steam Maidens. So this is the new hotness for V format. They're extremely powerful coming out of the recent V collection, and have seen extremely high representation in recent tournaments. As a result, a lot of people want something to be done about the deck because it has completely taken over top cuts ever since V Collection became legal. The card everyone seems to be focused on at the moment is Steam Maiden Enterena for being a very easy plus three. If I'm being perfectly honest here, I wasn't expecting a Steam Maiden hit. The new support is all of a month old, I just wasn't expecting them to hit it at all for money reasons. Steam Maidens as a whole are still a fairly new archetype, and they don't have anything like Odysseus, who's a 7-year-old card that's a very easy hit for Bushiroad. It sucks because Steam Maidens look to be a very oppressive deck, but it seems like money won out over meta in this case. Another very notable absence on this ban list is Narukami in Premium. If you've been paying attention to Premium, you'll know that Narukami has had very consistent representation both pre- and post-V collection. It's an extremely powerful clan, and I have no idea how Bushiroad missed this one. Most Narukami players have come to the conclusion that Exterminate is the problem here. I used to be more of a ban stun verse guy, but as I've thought about it more, I think I've come around to Exterminate being the problem card. The synergy with Sweep Command is very powerful. Unless you have a resist unit, the Narukami player is almost guaranteed at least a draw to plus 20k. And in general, the fact that Exterminate punishes you for trying to play around Stunverse is just not cool. And even if Bushiroad is like, oh, I don't know, we don't want to hit recent product, like, fine, ban Stunverse. Even if it turns out to be wrong, at least they did something? And separate from that conversation, there is also the Descendant Ride-Up engine. I think that one should just be banned on principle. If they're willing to ban Bendy despite her not really doing anything, they can ban the Descendant starter being used in a top-tier meta deck. And finally, the Overtrigger is still legal. Now, let's be real here, they weren't gonna hit it in standard because of upcoming products including the Overtrigger, but I really thought they were gonna throw us a bone for the premium format at least. It's no secret that Premium is largely EN's format. Our opinions are primarily the ones that have shaped it ever since the Mega Ban list. So you would think that after all of the complaints and negativity, they would have at least compromised with us and banned it in Premium, but nope! 
So, I guess, prepare for another three months of us complaining about it. Overall, I think this ban list is good, but not great. While I do agree with all of the hits, a lot of them feel like late responses to the previous meta before V Collection. I would definitely start learning Steam Maiden and Eradicator matchups for V and Premium, respectively. As always, thank you to our $10 patrons, Darren, Cole, Jeremy, and Josh. If you want to support our show, $5 gets you a whole ass bonus show, $10 gets you early access to select videos. You can find all of our socials in the description, we also have merch. Thank you for watching everybody, bye bye.